on this episode of The Story Detective. What's in the box? It's my new microphone. This is an AKG Lyra condenser mic. It has a very retro feel, and we're going to be unboxing it and giving it its first test run. If that's what's coming up, stick around. So why a new microphone? This microphone works perfectly fine for videos. It's serviceable. I only spent like $50 for it on Amazon. It's a CAD mic and it's not terrible. I can adjust the volume settings when I'm doing a video and it'll sound fine. But when I started doing live streams, I noticed that it doesn't have the range that most people's microphones have. They will sound very clear and sharp and my volume is much lower. So I'm back here like, whispering and I'm not usually a loud person to begin with so this is now becoming an outdated microphone. So let's get on with this one and we'll talk a little bit about it. Okay, let's see what's in the box. Check that out. Very retro. Everyone that's seen it said it definitely looks like my aesthetic, so that's another reason for buying it. This review is not going to be a super techie review for the tech geeks that need all the best of everything. When you're a critic and you have to get on and review this stuff, I think the difference is you can't be a critic and say, this is a great microphone when there are so much better if you're willing to pay and can afford to pay several hundred dollars for a good microphone. Now this runs $149, so it's not cheap, but it's on eBay for about 110 to 120. I paid, I think, 118 for this. So I got it around the same price as the Blue Yeti. And the Blue Yeti mic is something that a lot of podcasters and a lot of author tubers use, and it has pretty good range. And it also has a multi-directional microphone that you can sit anywhere or even have somebody sit across from you at the same table if you're doing a podcast with another person. The general consensus from the reviewers is that this actually had a bit better sound than the Blue Yeti. So for the same price, you're getting something that has a little bit richer, or as one guy put it, a more complex sound. Okay, looks like there's a cable and a little screw in there. Okay, it definitely looks pretty sweet. Check it out. There's the front and the back. These buttons are for the microphone patterns. So yes, you have front, front back, tight stereo and wide stereo. And there's also a mute button. So the microphone gain the one complaint that I've heard a lot of people mention is there's no setting on the gain. So if you're really technical with your audio, that is going to be a bit of a problem until you learn to adjust it. My simple solution for this was to grab a couple of Sharpies and put a couple of hash marks on the gain control. A black one for normal video use and a red one for when I'm doing live streams because the game needs to be turned up a little bit for those. There's also tutorials on akg.com slash Lyra. Again, for this type of channel, I don't think it's going to be a huge problem. At least I hope. <laughs> and we're going to do a comparison right out of the box and compare the sound here and the sound here. Also what you get with this microphone, and this is another thing that's kind of interesting, you get an activation code for a copy of 
Alberton Live Light. And that's software that's used by a lot of musicians. It's actually supposed to be pretty good audio software. So getting that as a bonus, I don't know if anything like that comes with a Blue Yeti, but if you're getting free software and a microphone, I don't think this is a bad buy for 118. It plugs in on the bottom. There's the mini USB and there's a headphone jack. The controls also feature a headphone volume control, capture mode LED indicators, and a mute button. There's a user's manual also available at akg.com. This does come off here and you can hook it up to a boom if you want something coming in that's not sitting on your desk. I ordered a boom arm so when I'm sitting on the couch or I have a desk full of stuff, I don't have to overcrowd by trying to fit the microphone in. The desk stand and overall appearance looks pretty nice. The desk stand is metal. This part of the body is plastic. It's metal here, plastic here. And the other complaint that somebody had is the knobs have a little bit of give to them. These are actually pretty sturdy. This one might have a little bit of give. There's a little. You can see that there's a little wiggle room there. When you have mass manufacturing of something, you're going to get better quality and worse quality. Let's hope this holds up. So, okay, let's, uh, let's do the comparison and see how things sound. I'm going to start out with my regular mic and hold it at this distance. I'm not going to change the audio, and this is going to be pretty raw footage. Okay, now I'm going to come back with the other mic hooked up, and we'll see how this sounds. Okay, I put this on the front setting, just like this microphone. Okay. I listened to the clip that I had filmed and this was super loud. It really sounds a lot more sensitive than the other microphone. I think there's a good sound here. I think it's going to take a little bit of adjustment to get used to. There was a guy that was like a few feet away from it on the one review and it was barely picking up so I don't know what setting he had it on. Let's try something. Okay, I am now about four, four and a half feet away from the microphone. Let's see if it's actually picking up and how it sounds. I turn the microphone to face my direction and I'm now about six feet away from the microphone. The one other thing that it comes with is this connector so you can connect the mic to a boom. So you get the little adapter for that as well. So I should be well upgraded for live streams. I'm happy with the aesthetic. I'm happy that it's a better microphone overall. It's not supposed to be a difficult microphone to use. If they did have a little bit of markings on the gain where you could see where it is without experimenting, but it took me a couple of tries to get it where it is. And that's not a very difficult thing to do. That's what I've got for you today. Until we talk again, keep those keyboards clacking, keep those microphones humming, and I will talk to you later.